is here. You know what? They banned me, but it's okay. I'm still here. Tap Water 5 is going to be better. You know what? I'm going to show you my nipples. These stories have been coming out that they worship some 45-foot stone owl god. And then I began to read some of the documentation on this Moloch character of the Old Testament, mentioned many times in Leviticus. That's in the Bible. Why are world leaders traveling to the middle of nowhere to worship this thing? Well, I had to check it out for myself. And I'm proud of my team. You do try to stop me. Tony and Cali, we get mask at Tony. Blow some smoke through that mask. But they can't fucking stop. We're no fucking blood. Twisted behavior. Could it be that when you have all the power and all the women and all the money and all the lands and all the art, you have to do something new. You have to go against the basic grain of humanity. You have to get off in a sick way. The way the samurai is found in death. Meditation on inevitable death should be performed daily. Every day when one's body and mind are at peace, we should meditate upon being ripped apart by arrows, rifles, spears, and swords. Being carried away by surging waves, being thrown into the midst of a great fire, being struck by lightning, being shaken to death by a great earthquake. Falling from thousand foot cliffs, dying of disease, committing sepulchre at the death of one's master. And every day without fail, one should consider himself as dead. Nigga, I don't want to talk. I'm on one. Just look at how I blind with the truth This set free your mind, yeah the truth hurt, don't it? Your origin is disease, my origin is godly The gods must be crazy America's private run-for-profit Federal Reserve Bank from its very inception in 1913 has been run by prominent members of the Bohemian Club. You will never defeat Pueblo Plug ever. Thank you, viewers. Pueblo Plug of the YouTube family. Tony and Cali. As global warmings launch new environmental concerns, fluoride in tap water once again rears its ugly head. So why all the controversy if it's good for the teeth? Turns out the stuff in common tap water happens to be a sister compound to sodium fluoroacetate, a common form of rat poison. According to studies by the Case Institute, the byproduct of phosphate mining in which they make fertilizer and laundry detergent is liquid fluoride. So toxic it costs seven grand a barrel to bury. <coughs> now, in bed with the government, companies can avoid expensive burial costs by diluting fluoride in city water supplies, saying that fluoride has huge dental benefits. Well, indeed, minute doses directly applied to a tooth may help that bothersome cavity. But in reality, tap water goes directly down the throat and through the body's major organs. Liver and kidneys then receive, ready for this, <coughs> lead, cadmium, phosphorus, selenium, mercury, silver, chromium, arsenic, and uranium-238, radioactive, by the way. One unfortunate side effect of fluoride in the bloodstream is that within 50 to 90 minutes, human skin begins to absorb toxins from the air, along with some household cleaning compounds when touched. Ironically, in the shower, skin probably absorbs more fluoride than drinking tap water alone. Is the fluoride problem a new phenomenon? No. By World War II, farms, cattle, plants, and fish were dying from the toxic byproduct of common aluminum production, sodium fluoride. But here in Los Angeles, the city of Santa Monica has already taken fluoride out of their drinking water. And city after city in the Northeast are following suit. Canadian research now shows fluoride can cause cancer when consumed in tap water over the course of years. So how does big business get away with dumping this toxic glunk into our city water? 
Turns out the federal government subsidizes it by giving block grants of up to a hundred grand for cities to start adding fluoride to their tap water. An EPA source told me the chemical companies joke the solution to pollution is dilution. Better to poison a lot of people a little than a few people a lot. Then it'd be really obvious. Looks like Brita filters and plenty of bottled water, at least for me. And I don't mean to be a bummer here, but I care about you, and we can't rely on newspapers and entertainment reporters to dole out the goods. You do have a choice if you want this stuff in your water. You can call your mayor. After all, we all have a right to be safe.